Italy was the first European country to be devastated by coronavirus. And for a while, it had more infections and deaths than anywhere in the world. Now the U.S. is in that unfortunate position. Italy's government is now relaxing the strict stay-at-home measures. For more on lessons learned from the outbreak, which killed 31,000 Italians, I spoke to Armando Vericchio, the nation's ambassador to the U.S. Ambassador Vericchio, thank you for being with us. So those scenes from Italy in March were beamed around the world. They alerted all of us to the horror of the pandemic. What has Italy learnt from what you went through? Well, you know, Italy has been the first Western democracy to be hit. So we have been sort of a trailblazer uh, since the end of February and then early March. We were hit by this huge wave. And uh, this has been a tremendous challenge, both for our people, our economy, but we're getting through that. Italy is beginning to open up now, and you are starting to see some more cases in the north. Is that a concern? Well, you know, I think that the trend is positive. We have been witnessing, witnessing in recent days a fast you know, uh, decline in uh, uh, positive uh, cases. Uh, so I think this opens the way for a reopening step by step of the economy. But we have to remain cautious. We have to follow the results of the test so that we can uh, reopen the country uh, in a way that does not hamper the public health. And as you look ahead to the winter and the flu season, what kind of preparations are you making so that you don't go through the same thing again if there's a second wave? As all our countries, we are trying to do some lesson learning from the first wave. Uh, we receive information that there might be a second uh, and possibly third wave of the virus later in the year. So I think that we have to stay ready. Uh, but I think that we have moved uh, uh, really forward since the very early days where Italy, like all our countries, was not necessarily fully prepared. Now we have strengthened uh, our health system. We have increased the number of ICUs. Uh, our medical doctors, nurses and know what to do, how to behave, how to react. So I think that so we have build, been building, I think, a, a very, very sound level of protecting walls. Now, the whole world was inspired by seeing Italians stepping onto their balconies and serenading doctors and nurses. Now, everyone is imitating this. Was that a particularly Italian response to the crisis, do you think? I'm very proud of what my fellow Italians did, even in the most difficult moments of the pandemic. Uh, these were, you know, uh, the communities uh, showed their strength, the resilience, their determination. Uh, in a way, every single citizen is a first responder because it is at the forefront of what we can do to, to, to make our societies stronger. So this communal sense, which has always been part of our social fabric, of our culture, the Italian piazza, the square, the place where people mingle, stay together, exchange views and have this strong sense of belonging uh, I think was moved to private quarters. So having uh, people uh, from their balconies, from their uh, doorways, uh, waving and uh, uh, singing and trying to, to, to share strength and determination has been a very, very uh, uh, reassuring uh, scene. And I'm very proud of that. And we've all been inspired by it. Ambassador Verricchio, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Laura. Italy's coming out of that nightmare now.